I'm not ready to die. That's what made of my mind to change. What team is so much here? Ah, what team am I in? I don't know who you are. Her struggles with addiction and her desire to quit the act sparked emotions. At age 13, Hagar, not her real name, set fire to her life and became vulnerable to smoking and drinking alcohol. I can take taba, taba like, like um, living, smoking. So I take trauma dose. You know, I can take trauma dose. I know a lot of drugs. If I take her, they make like you see. The 25-year-old single mother who felt trapped under the condition took a courageous decision to seek help to end her addiction. It's very difficult. It's very, if you are in my shoes and you get to what I'm going through, uh, hey, well, I'm not like this. I just change. Because what I'm doing now, I smoke and I can die in it. Her story caught the attention of philanthropists and well wishers who were eager to volunteer any form of support to get her out of the condition. The Church of Pentecost, through its home and urban missions, has footed her medical and rehabilitation bills. There are some families who can afford to just show them the way to foot the bills. But with this one, they cannot afford. So the Church of Pentecost is my headquarters. It's, it's paying for all her bills. And after this exercise, we'll be taking her to a rehab facility. A team of medical officials and leaders of the Pentecost Church visited her and subsequently took her to the hospital. She has been admitted at the Pantine Hospital where she is currently undergoing detoxification, after which she will undergo rehabilitation for six months. The drug rehab process comes at a cost, with some facilities charging at least 6,000 cities per month. The admissions we are having now is about young, young, uh, the youth that are coming up with, with, with cannabis psychosis. And so when they come, they are not even stable. Sometimes they have to go and bring them by police, you know, because the staff is behaving at home, just because of cannabis. Oil. Hager's mother is optimistic that her daughter's life can change for the better. Christian Yali, TV3 News, Accra.